Hi, it's Jan Beta, and due to popular demand in the comments section of my previous video where I restored a 1980s Technics turntable, I am going to show you the process I am going to try to bring this dust cover back to its original shine. If you watched the previous video, I pretty much got the shipping damaged SLD20 record player to be a fully functional record player again. It was a fun experience and I'm super happy with the result. One caveat though, the dust cover is severely, severely scratched. It has these spots everywhere and I cleaned this meticulously, so this is not dirt. This is actually scratches. I'm not sure what this is or how this happened, but I'm going to try to get rid of that. And I'm going to use some fine grit sandpaper and this acrylic polishing paste for that purpose. Usually you can bring these back quite easily if you have enough patience because the acrylic that these are made of is pretty thick. So this is a couple of millimeters. So uh, we can take away quite some material without damaging this. First thing I want to do is to use some masking tape to mask off the Technics logo here. And I think we should probably cut this to size. This is probably going to be quite a boring video, but you wanted it. <laughs> it's going to be me polishing this for an hour. There we go. That should be reasonably masked off. So the first pass I'm going to do to get rid of these deeper scratches and things like that is with this sandpaper. This is stuff you can use both wet and dry. I'm going to use it with some distilled water. I'm going to try to especially take care of the regions where it has these deep scratches and try to even those out as my first pass. And then we're going to go in with the polishing paste to actually make this clear again. It is going to look severely worse than this after I use the sandpaper. We're going to see. Let me just start this. Nothing much to lose on this one. Just getting this a bit wet everywhere. This is clean, so I cleaned this again. Just getting some of my paper here. And yeah, I'm just doing this by hand just to see if we can get these. Yeah, that works actually works really well. Just to see if we can get these down to surface level, basically. Some of these are really deep. So this takes some time. You want to feel with your finger around the spots to feel if you got it down to the level you wanted to. And you could use a coarser sandpaper obviously for even more severe scratches, but 2000 grit I found that's a good compromise for uh, polishing clear acrylic. I'm not going to be too worried about the sides here because those are not as scratched. Maybe I'm going to do a pass of polishing on those as well. The inside should be relatively good still. And I'm not trying to make this look new. Just trying to get rid of these really severe scratches. This might be a crack even. Yeah, that's way deeper crack on this spot here. We won't be able to get rid of this probably because it's a crack. And obviously we want to clean this before we go into the polishing phase because otherwise you would have the sandpaper remnants on there, which wouldn't do any good. Some of these are really deep scratches, so I'm not sure if we can get these all out. 
I'm just going to try my best here. That's all I can do. I think it already looks better than before, actually. This is pretty fine sandpaper, so it's getting better. The problem is that it looks uh, way better when it's while it's wet. <laughs> So it's not easy to see where we have to work some more. For the smaller scratches we don't even have to do this. This is just because some of them are really deep. I'm basically going to do this until I can't really feel any of those scratches anymore with my fingers. So they should be evened out. And you want to look at this from an angle and see if you can still see these. I'm not sure. This uh, one scratch here is super deep. We're not going to get that out. But yeah, the rest of them should be doable, I hope. Let me take a couple of seconds to thank the sponsor for this video, PCBWay, my favorite manufacturer of prototype PCBs of all kinds. They also offer CNC machining, 3D printing and other services, all of which are of super high quality. The pricing is super reasonable, delivery is fast. I highly recommend checking out the link in the video description in case you're interested. They offer everything a tinkerer needs. Let's get back to polishing. After around half an hour or so of polishing this by hand with the sandpaper, this actually looks way worse than it was now. It's all dulled up, obviously, because we used sandpaper. I'm going to clean this and then use these, this uh, polishing paste and this polishing sponge that I'm going to try for the first time, hooked up to my cordless drill. Yeah, I'm going to clean this with some window cleaner and a microfiber cloth and then go in with the acrylic polishing paste, wearing gloves for this because this stuff is pretty nasty and aggressive on your skin. Just putting some of this on here. Can also mix this with water. It says on the label. You really want to clamp these things down uh, that you polish because obviously the drill has some force. So I used way too much paste, I think. But it's already clearing up significantly. Yeah, we still need to do more passes. But we're getting there, it seems. So that's the way to go. Just uh, takes a lot of patience. And I would definitely recommend getting a proper polishing tool. <laughs> this sucks. So it is significantly better and uh, you can see on camera how it shines. It's not perfectly cleaned. There's still some polishing paste on there. Unfortunately, these deeper scratches, the ones I was worried about the most, didn't come out completely. They feel pretty smooth, but I think we would have to take these down 
with more sandpaper and then polish this again, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Yeah, this is going to take some more time. But yeah, basically you can see that the spots where there were only light scratches are very smooth now. So that's the way to do this. I guess I'm going to give this another few rounds of sandpaper treatment and see if I can get these down a bit more and then polish it again with the paste. So I went to some wet sanding with 1000 grit sandpaper and some of these are actually going away now. So I'm going to do another pass with 2000 grit sandpaper after this, just to get this down to a finer sand. And then polish again. These are some super severe scratches. Usually you don't have to do this as meticulously as I'm doing it now. We just have some quite severely deep scratches in here. Of course it looks even worse now than it ever looked. But this is the way. Okay, another pass with 2000 grit sandpaper and then we should be good to go. This is our 2000 grit. Okay, that's significantly better than before. Only needs a bit more. Yeah, this is pretty much as good as I can get this, I guess. It's not bad, but it's also not perfect. It is better than before. Way, way better. But with scratches that deep, the only real way to fix this is to get a new one. So here's what I ended up with. Uh, we can still see some of these dented parts and it has some scratches around the parameter but it is way clearer than it was. I think this is a respectable result. It was super scratched and I guess I can't do any more than that. There's a super deep scratch here that I can't get out. There are some scratches from the inside actually that I wasn't able to polish out and some of these dinked parts are still slightly visible but it's definitely way, way better than it was. And I'm going to give this uh, a final wipe and then put it back on the record player. And I don't know how well this translates on camera, but this is way better than it was. So yeah, pretty satisfied with this. Uh, not much more we can do to get these severer scratches out. But it is definitely way clearer than it was. It was kind of dull. And uh, there are some scratches on the inside that I wasn't able to polish out. But this is what we ended up with. Definitely worth taking some time doing that, I guess. Yeah, and even if the result in my case is not perfect, this method is definitely worth adding to your repertoire and I wanted to show you this because it works basically on all clear plastics, all shiny finish plastics. You can use the same method for CDs and DVDs. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of time, a lot of patience, but it's definitely worth doing. And if you only have light scratches on your surface, lighter than what I had here, you are going to end up with something that looks as good as new if you put enough time and effort into it. So to sum up, basically you go from coarser grit sandpaper to finer grit. I found that the 2000 grit is the one 
that allows for using the polishing paste afterwards without much hassle and in a reasonable amount of time. You might even go finer than that. Everything that's coarser grit requires to go finer grit before you start polishing unless you want to spend unreasonable amounts of time on it. Uh, you can use all the polishing pastes that are suitable for plastics. The one I used is also aimed at restoring car headlights and things like that. General purpose polishing paste for acrylic and other plastics. Yeah, I guess that's it for today. A bit of a shorter video. Stay tuned for longer videos. I am super busy in real life, so to say, at the moment. I'm sorry I didn't manage to make a longer video, but there's going to be a longer video next. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support on Patreon and on the channel memberships page and on Ko-fi and elsewhere. Thanks for your subscriptions. Thanks for your thumbs. Thanks for your comments. Hope to see you on this channel again sometime. I'm Jan Beta. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.